everyone, Amy Love here, and I'm coming on today to share with you uh, my first project in September for Team Sparkle. And I will put a link to A Trace of Sparkle on Etsy's link below so you can go over and get some of these adorable digitals. So uh, what I did was I joined a swap in Nicola Mason's Facebook group, and I'll put a link to her Facebook group below. Uh, it's just a fun, fun group of ladies. So we're, the swap was for two glassine bags, but she said if you didn't have glassine bags, you could make them out of parchment paper. So I didn't have glassine bags, so I made them out of parchment paper, and it's the first time I've actually ever done that. And so, the, and I didn't know how easily the parchment paper would sew together, but it sewed together really nicely. So my bow came, my bling came off. Okay, so. I gotta put my bling bag on. But that is just parchment paper. I sewed it together to make a bag. It's so super cute. So, pretend the pretty bling is right there. That's where it goes. I'm gonna have to use something other than hot glue, obviously. But I used the, what paper pad is this? I used two of her uh, digitals. I used French Curiosity and Nana's Sewing Room. But I don't know for sure which is which. I'm pretty sure this is on the front of the bags is all French curiosity. I'm almost sure, but I'll have a link to both so that you can go check them out below. So I started in the background with the music paper and you can see it from the back, which I think is very cool. When the bag's empty, you can see it. So I put a layer of music paper and then I just started to collage on top of it with uh, bits from the digital kit and then of course I layered laces I made a bow out of sari that has this really adorable bling before it fell off that I got that I got from Angel Dream Crafts and that will I'm gonna put that back on there I made this uh, like triple layer bow it's so big and fluffy and pretty out of this adorable little lace trim with another bling from Angel Dream Crafts and also this flower coming from Angel Dream Crafts, but I layered it on top of uh, some gathered lace and a doily. And there's just all kinds of layers of snippets and this really adorable double ruffle tr gathered trim is on the bottom of all the bags. I ended up making three bags. Um, oh, and I love this lace at the top too. Even though the swap is only for two, just because it was so fun. I mean, it just really was fun. I. I enjoyed every minute of it. So there's that one. And I do love that image. Isn't that cute? So cute. So that one needs bling put on. All right, so here is another one I made and you can see the music from the back, which I think is so adorable. And for this one, I've got some of her um, digital kit back here and then I pleated up some lace on top of that. This is from the French Curiosity Digital, uh, the Ephemera, I'm pretty sure. So, so cute. Another sari bow with some beautiful bling from Angel Dream Crafts. And then um, I made a little lace pocket here. So um, this is a piece of Ephemera from the kit. And then these little tags, tickets, are from the kit. And they just go right in there. So cute. I love having a little pocket there. And then on top of this doily, I made a little um, cluster of flowers from Angel Dream Crafts. And then this beautiful little pearl trim is also from Angel Dream Crafts dangling from the bottom. And then some of this beautiful double gathered ruffle at the bottom. So I just think these are so cute. They just turned out adorably. Her digitals are so fun to play with. And so this is the uh, third bag that I created, again, with the music paper, which is funny because on these, you can't even see the music paper anymore. This is the only place <laughs> you can see it. But on this one, you can see it a little bit because I left it open because I made it into a shaker, which was also fun to do. So I just put netting over the top and then I added, of course, sequins and some of my little double layer butterflies are in there too. Isn't that cute? And then this is ephemera from the digital kit. So pretty. 
I just love it. I think it's so cute. And then this um, postcard is from the digital kit too. And I just zigzag stitched all around it and then layered it in there with another beautiful flower cluster from Angel Dream Crafts. Some more of the pearl dangle. And on this one, I put this adorable shabby pumpkin. Okay, I am in love with these shabby pumpkin charms. And I don't think Kim has any more in the shop, but that's where I got these. I love them. They're so, so stinking cute. So that is right there. And then a bow from Kim's shop too. And I love that this is a shaker. I just thought that was so sweet. So I am absolutely loving <clears throat> the French curiosity papers. I mean, I'm loving them. But we're also gonna fill these bags. So in uh, Nana's sewing room, she had these amazing little spools and they were so cute. I meant to have one not cut out so I could show you, but what's so cool about this is I just printed it out on cardstock and when you print it out, it prints out like this so that all you have to do when you cut it out is fold it over and then you have a nice sturdy board. So I'll be able to put lace on that no problem. Genius, thank you very much, Jennifer. I love it. So. All of these adorable spools, of course, I've stickled them. They're so cute. I only stickled one side. And I just now noticed that. I'm going to stickle the other side because I have to. I just have to. But these are so cute. And they all came out of the Nana's sewing room. So sweet. And then this little one. And then here is an envelope. And I've stickled this side. I haven't stickled the front yet, though. But I'm going to stickle these two. Isn't that gorgeous? That is so pretty. So, Jennifer, thank you for letting me be a member of Team Sparkle this year. I am having a blast playing with your digitals. I hope that you love what I created. And I want to thank you all for stopping by and for leaving comments. It's so great when you leave comments. I appreciate it so much. And I'd love to know what you think of my little parchment bags. <laughs> And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and go check out the links below. The link to uh, Jennifer's Etsy and Kim's Etsy will be below in my description box. So have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you next time.